Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are 10 uh, and 12 as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we got uh, three semicircles. And here's our very first uh, semicircle whose uh, diameter is uh, AC. And here's our uh, second uh, semicircle whose uh, diameter is uh, BC. And here's our third uh, semicircle whose uh, diameter is uh, AB. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded region, this one and this one as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, semicircle and uh, this uh, triangle ABC inside. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B and C are uh, three distinct points uh, on the circle where the line AB is a diameter, then the angle ACB is going to be a right uh, angle. As you can see in this uh, diagram, a, B and uh, C are the distinct uh, points uh, on this uh, semicircle whose uh, diameter is uh, AB. Then according to this uh, Thales theorem, uh, this angle uh, ACB is going to be 90 degrees. So thus we conclude that this uh, triangle ABC is a right uh, triangle. Now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle ABC whose side lengths are uh, 10 uh, and uh, 12. And now we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, BC. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this side A and this side uh, B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 10. So this is going to become 10 square plus uh, b square equal to c in our case is a 12. So this is going to become 12 square. And now let's go ahead and subtract 100 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore b square turns out to be 44. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking uh, the square root on both sides. So b turns out to be equal to and now let's focus on the right hand side square root of uh, 44 i have copied it down and if we simplify it uh, it is equal to 2 times square root of 11 so therefore uh, square root of 44 could be written as 2 times uh, square root of uh, 11 so thus our this uh, side length uh, bc turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 11 and here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, semicircle whose uh, diameter is uh, 10. So therefore, uh, its uh, radius is going to be half of that one. That is going to be 5. Let me call uh, this radius as uh, r of 1 equals to 5. And now let's focus on this another semicircle whose uh, diameter uh, BC is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 11. So therefore, its radius is going to be half of that one. So let me go ahead and call its radius uh, R of 2 equal to square root of uh, 11. And now let's focus on uh, this uh, another uh, semicircle whose uh, diameter is uh, 12. So therefore, its radius is going to be half of that one. So let me go ahead and call its uh, radius uh, r of 3 equal to 6. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, first uh, semicircle. I'm going to call uh, semicircle number 1. This I'm going to call uh, semicircle uh, number 2. And this one I'm going to call uh, semicircle uh, number three and here's our next step uh, let's make an observation we can see that the area of this uh, red uh, shaded uh, region uh, this one and this one is going to be equal to the area of this uh, semicircle uh, number one plus uh, the area of this uh, semicircle uh, number two plus the area of this uh, right triangle uh, abc minus the area of this uh, semicircle uh, number uh, 3. 
as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore, now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle uh, number one, area of semicircle number two, area of this uh, triangle ABC, and finally the area of this uh, semicircle number three. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, semicircle uh, one first. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals two pi r square, where r is the radius of the circle. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this semicircle uh, one, whose uh, radius is uh, five. So therefore the area of semicircle uh, one is going to be pi times five whole square and I'm going to divide by two since we are dealing with the semicircle. So therefore let's simplify so that is going to give us five square is 25 pi divided by two and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, semicircle two whose uh, radius is a square root of uh, 11. So therefore the area of this uh, semicircle 2 is going to become uh, pi times uh, square root of uh, 11 whole square and once again we are going to divide by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircle and now this uh, square and square root undo each other so we ended up with the uh, 11 pi divided by 2. And finally, let's go ahead and find the area of this uh, semicircle uh, 3, whose uh, radius is uh, 6. So therefore, the area of this semicircle uh, 3 is going to be pi times uh, 6 uh, whole square. And we're going to divide it by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircle. So therefore, this is going to give us uh, 36 uh, pi divided by and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times a uh, height. And in our case, our base is uh, 10 and our height is 2 times the uh, square root of 11. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So this is going to give us a half times uh, base is uh, 10 times the uh, height is uh, 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 11. So this could be written as 20 on the top times the square root of 11 divided by 2. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks all these uh, values in this uh, equation. So the area of uh, semicircle 1 is uh, 25 pi divided by 2 plus the area of this uh, semicircle 2 is uh, 11 pi divided by 2 plus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, 20 times uh, square root of 11 divided by 2 and then minus uh, this area of circle uh, semicircle rather 3 is going to be 36 uh, pi divided by 2. And now we can see we have a 2 in the denominator as a common. So therefore, I am going to factor out 1 divided by 2 outside to make our job easier. So we ended up in the bracket 25 pi plus 11 pi plus 20 times the square root of 11 minus 36 pi. And now we can see if we combine these like terms, uh, 25 pi plus 11 pi is going to give us uh, 36 uh, pi. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this part by 36 uh, pi. And now we can see this 36 pi and negative 36 pi, they cancel each other out. So we are ended up with uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 20 times uh, square root of 11. If we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 10 times the square root of 11 and that is our answer. So thus the area of this uh, red shaded region turns out to be 10 times square root of 11 square units and that is approximately equal to 33.2 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.